Hey there, Gemini. Hey, this is Renee, and welcome back. Gemini, this is going to be your love reading for March 2023. Let's see what's coming towards Gemini for March in love. Okay, we have the High Priestess. We have the Justice card. Wow. The Six of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini. I feel like this High Priestess energy, I feel like someone is deep in thought. I feel like someone is thinking about you. They're thinking about how things used to be in the past. I feel like you may get a offer, an invitation, uh, someone wants to reunite. Someone from the past is coming back. Someone who may have wronged you in the past. But I feel like they feel like, you know, they were wrong. They want to offer some sort of communication with you to let you know exactly how they feel. Exactly the reason why things went the way they did. Um, I feel like a lot of things were left unsaid. A lot of things weren't very clear. Um, when they left out of the picture. But I feel like for for some of you, I feel like they may have left suddenly um, with this justice card. But I feel like they did you wrong, Gemini. And now they want to make things right. They want to have the chance to explain the situation. Okay, very interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about the situation. Okay, the Five of Cups. The Magician. The Ace of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> wow. We have the star on the bottom. So yeah, this person had to go through a lot of healing. They had to really find themselves after they left. After they left you, they were lost. Um, they didn't really realize how they felt about you until they left. Um, but I feel like a part of them left with them. You know, they, they, they feel like they left a really good thing. You know, look how similar these cards are. Look how similar they look. You know, the Five of Cups and the, magi and the Magician. They, they definitely want to create something brand new. They want to have a fresh start. They want to be able to open up to love you. The way that they feel like you deserve to be loved. The way you feel you deserve to be loved. Um, I feel like they weren't able to do that for some reason the first time around. But I feel like, you know, after really realizing what they lost, they, they found that their heart really belongs to you, Gemini. They're, they weren't able to move on. They weren't able to, you know, find anyone like you. You know, they, they feel so heavy burdened. Like they're just walking down this path alone because they didn't have you by their side. They feel like you're the only one that they could love. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing. But they definitely want to create this new situation. 
You know, they feel like their burdens will be lifted if they're able to communicate with you exactly how they feel. They want to apologize. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to give you back their heart. You know, they want to create this fresh new start. Very interesting, Gemini. You are attracting this into your life and not even realizing it. Because with the star energy, they finally come to the conclusion that the feelings that they have for you, Gemini, they can't let go of. They can't release them. They're like caught in the motions. And they feel very burdened without you. Like they like they just can't do it. You know? Yeah, they feel like they lost their passion. They lost the fire when they lost you. They lost how they felt. They lost a great amount of value within themselves hurting you. And I feel like they weren't expecting that. I feel like they weren't expecting to feel so bad, but they had no idea how deeply they felt about you. Gemini, look at this. They're ready for a brand new beginning. They've totally transformed because of the situation. They've transformed. They finally come to the realization of how they truly feel. And they can't doubt it any longer. You know, I feel like they tried to doubt it for a very long time. But they're now they're just not able to. They're not able to doubt it any longer. Okay. Um, let's get some love cards for this person. How does this person feel like about Gemini? Give me some cards. Spirits. How does this person feel like Gemini? What's going on with this person? What's going on with this person, please? Okay, we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So I feel like... I feel like you and this person had a lot of playful times. Um, you may have had a lot of really good times. And you may not have understood the reason why this person walked away. And I feel like, you know, I'm not giving an indication the reason why they walked away. But I feel like they have a lot to say to you about it. They have a lot of information to give you to give you a better understanding. But... I feel like the humor between you two, the playfulness, really touched their soul. You know, um, you know, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So they're really hoping and praying for some kind of healing. For some kind of re reigniting of your passion. Okay. We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only that it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So I feel like they're finally coming to that realization that, you know, in order to be true to themselves, they have to be honest and faithful to you. I don't know why I'm getting faithful. Um... But I feel like this person is asking for some sort of forgiveness and healing, okay? 
we have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Hmm. I, I feel like they've done a lot of soul searching. Okay, and Spirit is letting you know, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So I, I feel like with this person, um, although they do want you to forgive them, they do want some sort of situation to be reignited. They want a reunion. Um, they want a reconciliation. Um, but I feel like Spirit is letting you know to wait. Don't rush into this. You know, um, let nature take its course. Take it slow. You know, don't try to force something, okay, because of feelings. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is very deep. Okay, let's get some, let's get some truth cards. What would this person say to Gemini? What does this person want to say to Gemini? Spirit, give me a message. What does this person want to say to Gemini? I will wait for a sign from you. They're waiting for you to make the first move. Or they're waiting for you to give them the okay, you know, to make a move. Okay? I left when I saw you with someone. So either you or this person may have been with someone else. And they felt like they needed to remove themselves from the situation. Uh, this is either your energy or theirs. Okay. So it could be that there was a third party situation. It could be that maybe they weren't. They could have betrayed you or so forth. But I'm, I'm really getting that there's someone in need of forgiveness here. Okay. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe you or this person was kind of on the rebound situation. Or maybe you've been through something that was causing some kind of pain, some kind of heartbreak, some kind of grief. Okay. So and I feel like, you know, they're kind of using you as a distraction to get through whatever it is that they're doing. But now they, they've become attached. They become to find that they need you in their life. Gemini. Okay. I feel like it's no longer a distraction. I feel like it's more a necessity. That now they need you. Because now they're in pain without you. You know, does that make sense? Um, that's what I'm getting for for that. The timing just wasn't right. There was something to do with some kind of timing, some kind of situation. Maybe you just weren't mature enough for the situation. They weren't mature enough for the situation. Maybe you were both attached. Um, but it, it just wasn't the right time at the moment. And I feel like they, they feel like they now is the right time like they're ready they're they're able okay i hide behind material things so i feel like they really make themselves busy so that they don't have to think about what they don't have which is you so they keep themselves very busy with like work or something like that i replay our conversations over and over so they're constantly thinking about you gemini they just simply can't get you off of their mind. Yeah, see what I tell you? They can't stop thinking about you. You're just, they've become attached. And they may not even have noticed it until they lost you. You know, I want you. You were the best thing in my life. I'm starting to understand our connection, you know, so I, I feel like, you know, they had to come to this realization on how much they really needed you, how much they really wanted you. And I don't feel like they found that out until they lost you, you know. Um, so it's very interesting here, Gemini. 
Okay, Spirit. When, when is this person going to approach Gemini? What is going on with this person? Give me a sign for Gemini. Okay, they're looking for forgiveness. They're they're looking for you to for you know to forgive them, to remain positive, to you know be open to what they're saying. You know, they're asking you just to hear them out. Just to listen to what they have to say. Okay. And we have ask your angels. And we have in the near future. So I feel like, you know, if this ha if this person hasn't approached you, I feel like they will be approaching you very soon. Okay? If there's any questions that you may have, I feel like the angels are saying no. You know? Um, so, that may be... Hmm. One more message for Gemini. Okay, we have reconsider. Hmm. So I, I feel like this person really wants you to reconsider. I feel like maybe your first um your first emotion is to say no. And I, I feel like, you know, they're just asking you to reconsider, to hear them out, to forgive them, you know. And they're looking for some sort of guidance. They may also be looking for some sort of advice um, from someone how to approach you. They may be talking, if you have the same circle, they may be talking to friends and family about you or, you know, um, but I feel like you're constantly on their thoughts and mind, you know, they're just waiting for an opportunity to, you know, feel like you're open enough for them to approach you. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Gemini. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I have all the March readings in a playlist. So take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus if you know that. And that will give you more clarification on your situation. Okay, and until your next reading, many blessings, Gemini, love and light.